intra-party strife engulfs CCC. The beleaguered Citizens Coalition for Change CCC has been plunged into further turmoil as internal divisions and bitter infighting have come to the fore. Following the submission of the list of senators and proportional representation candidates to replace those that were recalled by the party's interim secretary general, Mr. Senjizo Chibangu. A couple of weeks ago the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC gazetted the CCC list which saw Mr. Chibangu as one of the candidates nominated to fill vacancies in the Senate under Metbelaland North Province. Other candidates nominated to fill vacancies in the Senate include lawyer Kukaka Fulu, Lillian Lillo, Linda Sibanda and Colette Nlovo all from Bulawayo. Maxwell Mdluri comes in for Manika Land while Sam Chapfadza fills in the Masvingo vacancy. In Medbelaland North, Mr. Chibangu, Teresa Cabondo and Grace Mampandi complete the Senate list. The list has, however, ignited controversy within the party, leading to intense name-calling and bitter accusations among its ranks. Some members have even gone as far as boldly threatening that they would send lightning to their rivals. In a WhatsApp voice note which emerged last week, former Pumula legislator, Mr. Albert Mlanga claims to be part of the initial group with Mr. Chibangu that approached former leader Mr. Nelson Chimisa and took him to task on the imposition of candidates to represent the party in last year's harmonized elections. It is the same group that initiated the recalls from Parliament, claiming they were targeting people they believed had been imposed by Mr. Chimisa. In the voice note, Mr. Mlanga accuses lawyer and former Nkulamain MP. Mr. Fulu of imposing himself on the list of senators and also hijacking their movement. I hope I find you well honorable lawyer Fulu, I remember you once tried to call me and I ignored your call because I was so angry and I was going to tell you off. I always tell you of this tendency of yours, where you go behind my back, you claiming it's ten diabetes, but I know it's you, to ensure I do not get onto the list of senatorial candidates. I do not know why you are fighting with me but I am also prepared to take these three years fighting with you, be prepared for that fight. How we fight, I do not know. You might be a lawyer and win every legal battle in court but you will never win the Mlanga war. With my little money I am prepared to buy lightning from anyone selling it and that lightning strikes you, said Mr Mlanga in the voice note recorded in ISI Nebuli. Contacted for comment. Mr. Mlanga confirmed that indeed it was him in the voice note, saying he stood by the sentiments. He accused Mr. Fulu of hijacking their project and then sidelining them so that he could bulldoze his way back to parliament for personal gain. We are the CCC whose leader is Mr. Chimisa, the idea we had after the controversy surrounding the party's primary elections was to engage Mr. Chimisa and come up with some form of solution. When that failed we decided to formalize the party, we're together with the likes of Muso Saiso and Colet Nlovu, to mention but a few, decided to work on issues like the party constitution. Fulu was approached and he flatly refused to be a double candidate or even to be our lawyer. We then got our own lawyers to represent us, when Fulu realized that we were scoring legal victories he requested to assist the lawyers. That is how he got into the picture said Mr. Mlanga. The former legislator further claimed that after Mr. Fulu got himself into the legal team, he then sidelined them and was now only dealing with Mr. Chibangu. It was honestly shocking. They were now always in court without even consulting us, they were recalling people willy-nilly, which was not what our intentions were. Mr. Fulu made sure he separated us from Mr. Chibangu. Even the Senate and Proportional Representation List, these were all drafted by Fulu, where he made sure he bulldozes his way to Senate and ignoring the list which we had all drafted. This is not the first time that Mr. Fulu has done this, when we formed the MDC Alliance, he did exactly what he is doing now, that shows you the person he is, which is why I am saying better he be struck by lightning. That is how angry I am, said Mr. Mlanger. Mr. Fulu on the other hand distanced himself from the accusations that were leveled at him by Mr. Mlanga, saying he was not aware what he was talking about. Yes I heard Mr. Mlanga's voice note but to be honest, 
I don't even know what Mlenga is talking about, if I knew, maybe I would give an informed comment but he is just babbling and say nothing at all. His accusations do not even make any sense at all, he said. Meanwhile, the CCC held a press conference in Bulawayo yesterday where it was announced that Mr. Welshman Cube was the leader of the party for the next 90 days. He will rotate with Mr. Tendai Bite who will do another 90 days with Lynette Kuriniaikoe following after, in a rotational format until Congress to elect a substantial leadership following the resignation of Mr. Chimisa from the party. Insiders accused the new leadership of grabbing power from the Mr. Chibango team that had pushed Mr. Chimisa out of the picture. Mr. Chibango was part of the interim leadership of the party. Announced recently, but was not included in the new setup announced yesterday. The leadership committee of the party that was initially announced by the Mr. Chibango team has dingalized with Schumer. Former legislator for Intambenjup constituency in Bulawayo as chair, Mlenga former Pumula MP, Bulawayo Deputy Mayor and Committee's Deputy, Shibango Secretary General. Kalifani Fujini Information, Sikulul Kyle Moyo Interim Chairperson for Women, Nomvila Mguni Ex-Proportional Representation MP, Buso Saiso Treasurer and Bano 9 Cube Youth. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.